hi y'all and welcome back to my channel I came on here specifically to ask your advice I'm um, I found this on Pinterest and my mom she is all about um, her garden and she loves working outside in her flower beds and so I thought I saw this it, it could either be a bird bath or a bird well it was mainly a bird bath, but I thought I'd make her one. And I picked up, I've been saving these pieces. I've been picking them up at Goodwill, at thrift stores for just a dollar or two. And um, so I've been gluing them together. And of course, it's going to be kind of heavy, but that'll be good. It won't be blown over. But um, so I put it together, but I need your advice about finishing this. It's going to be for her birthday, and she'll love it because she loves anything um, that you make for her. So, um, but this is what I did. I took this big, large platter and turned it upside down, and I'm kind of glad I did for a reason I'll tell you in a minute. And I turned it upside down, and I had already had this piece glued together. It's like a, kind of like a... Um, textured crystal vase and that was upside down and I glued it to a little candy dish or trinket dish so I taped that end to end I, I mean glued it so I had that and then I had it also glued to this piece this jar okay and so what I did is I filled that with um, pieces of flowers that I had left over and um, it being outside, it won't get wet because it is completely sealed um, with the glue. And I used, um, I think it's either 6,000 or, no, Gorilla Glue. I used Gorilla Glue to glue all this together because to keep it um, hopefully together. And it said to glue each piece separately and let it sit for a minute and it was supposed to have a better hold so I did that and then on top of that I found this piece at a thrift shop it's kind of like a tray and it had like a little place where you maybe you could put some dip you know put your chips or your fruit or vegetables out here and then um, you could put like a little dish with some dip and then I glued another piece which is an upside down like crystal uh, vase or vase um, and I have it glued Let's see if I can get under there okay um, to like a, um, a candle holder a small one and I had that glued together already so I had that and then to top it off I had this piece this like um, it's a real pretty um, dish you know you could put fruit or um, you know some type of food in it and I, t um, I glued that upside down, but, and I thought this would be a cute idea for this area right in here for, um, like bird food. Of course, you'll probably still get like squirrels and stuff in it, but, um, I thought that was really cute. And, um, so my thing was, I'm trying to figure out how to, f I wanted to put something on top of here. Um, you know, to kind of finish it, finish it off with. And I thought, well, maybe I could still turn this into a, um, a bird bath on top, but I didn't have any more large platter type dishes. Um, so I had this piece, which is like a white serving, a, a large bowl, maybe like a soup bowl or something like that. I thought maybe put that on and I don't know. I just didn't feel, um, that just didn't feel right to me. Um, and then I started maybe, well, maybe I'll just try to, you know, top it off. So I thought I had this piece. Okay, and I didn't think so. Okay, and I had this little, looks like a little light bulb. 
And I thought putting that on, and that didn't look right, even upside down. I mean, that could be okay, but I don't know. I just, I didn't, I'm one feeling it. Um, then I had this little jar, which I, I know I could, you know, fill it with something. I have some little pink bows in it right now, and I thought I could put that on there. And still not feeling it. So, what I'm wanting to know is if y'all could help me decide what is the best thing to do to finish this off. I had this little candle holder. And I thought I could put that on there. Still nothing for me. <laughs> Um, and then I had one more thing, um, which is just a regular candle holder, and I thought maybe I could put a large bead or something. Because you don't want, you wouldn't want water sitting in that. Okay, so I want y'all to tell me, I have one more idea, and tell me what y'all think about this. But, because I still was kind of thinking of the bird bath slash bird feeder, but I would need to add to this. So, but I could do it this way. I could turn this whole thing upside down. Of course, I would still need to build this way and build something for it to sit out. But, have this a bird feeder. Okay, and this kind of sheltering it. And then this would kind of, um, you know, catch the rain to have a little bird feeder. Because it, it is a little bit deep, you know, um, right there. So that would catch rain. And, but I would just have to build up this way with something. So let me know what y'all think. I um, really need some help on this. And so, get back to me and so I can finish this up for my mom for her birthday. Thank you so much. And I appreciate any um, advice, um, suggestions. Um, that would be great. All right. And I will see you soon. I'm doing that video, too, also today for my giveaway. So, that will be up, to, um, up soon, too. All right, y'all. have. A, I hope you're having a great weekend.